All right, well, it's out there now, and I feel like all Mustang enthusiasts can finally breathe a big sigh of relief. The seventh generation Mustang is gonna be more of the same, which is what we love. They're bringing back the uh, the five liter Coyote V8. They're also gonna offer it in a 2.3 liter EcoBoost motor as well. You still have the option of a manual transmission, six speed, or that 10 speed automatic they've been running out there. So more of the same with new aggressive modern day styling. Um, they did completely change the interior of the car. It's more like a, like a cockpit now, so it feels a little bit smaller, more driver uh, centered, which is kind of cool. I think the car looks pretty pretty good. Um, it's it's exactly what I wanted, you know, really really close to the S550, but updated. I'm I'm totally cool with that. I'm just glad they didn't do what all the other pony car manufacturers are doing now. So at least we went in the right direction. What they did do that was freaking awesome was they introduced the new Mustang Dark Horse. And if you guys haven't seen this thing yet, you got to go check it out. They've got, what I'm seeing so far is three different versions of it. You've got the street version, which is exactly what you want. It's a 500 horsepower, naturally aspirated Coyote 5 liter V8. Um, you can get it with the six speed manual transmission. It's got some crazy configuration of dual throttle bodies and the, the hood is this, you know, big nose looking thing to just suck air in, which is pretty awesome. Um, he had a bunch of options of, you know, super lightweight carbon fiber wheels. And there, there was a whole bunch of stuff. But what really caught my eye is they're offering two different true race spec versions of this vehicle. One is the S. And from what I understand, from what I'm reading, I don't think either one of them are going to be street legal. I think they both come with a cage and like everything um, from the get go whenever you buy it. So you've got the... You've got the Dark Horse S, which is basically going to be super lightweight. All the all the crap, the electronics, the frivolous stuff, sunroofs and everything is, is taken out to make them as light as possible. It's going to have a roll cage net, uh, racing seat, racing wheel with quick disconnect and adjustable rear wing, kind of the whole shebang. And then there's the R version, which is basically the exact same thing, but even more so. And it's actually specifically made for certified racing which is awesome because I love it when a, an automotive manufacturer has racing in mind. That's just pretty killer. And the fact that they introduced this pretty much right after, you know, Dodge announced that they're killing off <laughs> their only pony cars and Chevy a year ago decided to go all automatics. It's, it's good to see Ford not fumbling the bag and actually coming out and making something awesome. Thanks guys.